What's going on guys? Big Belly's back and Fortnite Epic Games patch for version 4.5 is out. I'm going to go ahead and um, read through the main points to see what's new in the game. So, I mean, for now, for right at the top, you can see there's, there's new guns added to the game, the dual pistols. They're awesome. If you haven't seen my gameplay of um, using them, you should go check it out. I'll put a link uh, at, up, up in the video somewhere. Um, definitely check it out. So let's continue. I'm just going to be reading the main points and not everything. So we're going to just jump straight to uh, Playground modes have been temporarily disabled uh, due to um, them having issues with it. So they'll bring it back uh, soon. So let's go straight into the Battle Royale update. So I'll go through the Playground mode. Um, however, remember that it's not there right now, but when it does come, these are the things you need to know about it. So for those of you who don't know what playground mode is, it is basically a practice mode. Um, you go in there and practice your building. Um, you ha can have fun, get better at Fortnite, and you can train with your squad up to three members. Um, you have one hour in this game mode, friendly fire is on, um, therefore you can finally do like if you and your friends always say oh i'm better than you and i'm better than you or he's better than you and blah blah, blah. you can finally go one-on-one -on -one with your friends um make a tournament out of it or do something to finally see who's better at the game um uh, so when the players die you will be respawned um however if you die to the storm uh you're going to be dead forever uh the storm starts to close in at the 55 mark and will take five minutes to fit uh fully closed. Uh, resources gathered are 10 times the normal rate and there will be a hundred llamas on the map. They have also added fi uh, final teams of 12 which is basically the same thing as any other team modes of 50 vs 50 and all that except the main difference is um, the storm won't close all the way there will be a final circle and in that final circle, it's, there'll be a timer of three minutes. And at that point, after three minutes, whoever has the most players left, that will be the team winning. And you can end up in a tie. And there'll be eight teams of 12. So the weapons that have been added are the dual pistol. And it's an available in epic and legendary variants. It does a 41 base damage with epic and a 43 with legendary. It uses medium ammo. And you shoot both guns with the same trigger. So it's not like dual pistols in like Call of Duty where um, you use two different triggers to shoot the different pistols. Uh, one trigger will shoot both the pistols. Uh, they can be found from loot, uh, floor loot, chests, and supply drops. And for, you, for those of you who know what first shot accuracy is, um, there is no first shot accuracy for dual pistols and um, I will be coming out with a video uh, discussing what first shot accuracy and how Bloom works in Fortnite. Um, stay tuned for that. If you haven't already subscribed and turn on the notification bell so you know exactly when that video will be out. Um, so more, uh, more changes that they've added to the game. Uh, significant jumps that are landed with the shopping cart now appear on the elimination feed. Shotgun damage to structures has been reduced by 50% for pump shotgun and 25% for both tactical shotgun and heavy shotgun. Hmm. That's... I don't know why they gotta do such changes, but it's okay. So, they are making changes to the submachine guns, the tactical submachine gun and silent submachine gun. For the tactical submachine gun, they removed first shot accuracy. Um, they increased the base accuracy by 25%. They lowered the sprinting accuracy penalty by 15%. And they lowered the aim down sight bonus by 10%. And finally, they increased the damage of the tactical SMG by 2. The silent SMG has a base accuracy increase by 10%, has its aim down sight accuracy bonus increased by 20%, and its damage has been also been increased by 2. So this might make the SMGs a little bit stronger to um, go up against your shotguns and the shotguns nowadays are not even that powerful anymore so SMGs are definitely an alternative to that. Um, the, grenade launcher, the grenade launcher visuals have been temporarily changed uh, to shoot fireworks instead and this will be for July the 4th and I'm, I might be for Canada Day too but 
Uh, I definitely know it's definitely for July 4th since they are an American based game. Um, bug fixes. So the boogie bomb explosions are no longer blocked by vehicles. Clingers can't stick to you through objects. Spike traps will no longer kill you if you're on the floor above it. And the thermal scope rifle will, uh, will no longer highlight open chests. I'm moving on to gameplay. Uh, for elimination challenges, you no longer need to eliminate the player to get cha the challenge done. You just need to knock them down. So, for instance, if you had a challenge that says um, eliminate three players using a sniper rifle, and you're playing squads and you snipe a guy, and then you end up dying, and then the guy gets um, revived, or yeah, he gets revived, you, your challenge won't be completed. However, this time, as long as you knock down the player, your challenge will be complete, which is nice. Um, definitely makes it easier for some of the guns. Um, in build mode, walls will now try to build at a closer location when placement is blocked due to a lack of structural support, such as stairs, floors, and roofs are not affected. Okay, so this is just for the walls. Um, players in the down but not out state can no longer enter shopping carts. Um, so that's the main thing for the bug um, fix. I know there's a lot of stuff here, but many of them is things that you don't really notice. Um, you can always go back or pause the video and just read it yourself. Again, I'm just trying to give you the main points that are necessary to know for the game updates. So performance um, fixes. Uh, they improve performance of skydiving on all platforms by reducing rendering related CPU hitches. They fix the source of hitching on Xbox One. Improved performance for moving ammo and weapon pickups. Improved player movement updates in large team games. This should make the movement of other players appear smoother. They fix skydiving ring ticking the entire match. They also have audio fixes, which I'll go through real quick. Uh, changes to enemy building. Uh, audio friendly building audio remains the same. So they increase the volume of enemy building and they increase it by two building tiles. So you will be able to hear the enemy approaching you um, a little bit further away and it'll be a different sound so if you're building with wood and they're building with wood it's no longer you're not going to know if it's your building or someone else now it'll be a different noise when it's an enemy they added variation to water footsteps on mobile and nintendo switch platforms they rebalance base content for surround um, sound mix uh, the bug fixes for audio, they re the first few milliseconds of audio to play if an emote is triggered while jumping. Suspension audio on cars is no longer spammed when jumping or sliding off of them. Shopping carts no longer spam their collision audio if flipped upside down. Fix an issue that caused doors to play and open and close sound when open. Uh, moving on to user interface. Uh, custom voice chat output device can be selected on PC. They re removed damaged numbers of shopping carts and added a health bar. HUD elimination and down but not out. Notifications have been received, updated animations. Bug fixes for UI. Uh, damage numbers no longer overlap if damage is done to both shield and health. And they fix an issue where the player was unable to drop or split an item after dropping a full stack of items. Um, art and animation. So the cape on the Battlehound outfit is now available as a black blink. Added capes to the Ventura and Venturion outfits. A pillar of light will now appear at the location where friendly friendly map markers are placed replay system uh, they remove pro am replays finally uh, don't need to see that in the replay system anymore and replay browser entries will now scroll if text doesn't fit spectating bug fixes the shield bar no longer incorrectly fills and empties when switching between players and spectator mode thank you guys for watching this video and if it helped you at all or you learned something new make sure to hit the subscribe button like the video and share it with your friends so they know what's up and what's new with fortnite till next time take care